Arjun is in a miserable position. That is not the position of Arjun, the person. That is the situation of entire mankind. That is the conflict that we all face daily, every day. So first of all, it is not about Arjun and Krishna. It is not about two persons. Arjun and Krishna are both within us. Krishna is not standing in front of Arjun. Krishna is the heart of Arjun. Karla, the more you choose to value stuff in your life that is not really stuff, the more you will rise above stuff. Frowning. Such a stuffed statement. Yes, death is material and you have rightly pointed out that one is so attached to the material existence of the others and one is so attached to things like job and money and one's happiness too is contingent on material things. So one is very attached to the material, right? Why don't you start valuing love? And if you value love, then aren't you valuing something that is not material? Please. Is it not often a choice to value love over, let's say, glitter or convenience or money? If it's a choice between love and convenience, and you have chosen convenience, then what have you chosen? The material, right? Whereas if you have chosen love, have you chosen material? Is love material? If love is material, bring some of that material to me on this plate. Please, somebody serve love to me on this plate. Because material can always be transformed. And presented in some way on this plate. Serve me love here, please, with some sauce. Can you? You can't. Hmm? That's the way to beat the material. But first of all, one has to be fed up with material and one has to have some love. Good news is, and equally the bad news is, all this is a choice. It is often said, love just happens. We talk of spontaneity. We talk of its finality, irreversibility. We talk of its unknowability. We talk of it of the total possession that love takes over oneself. But all that is a lot of poetry. The reality is that love too is a choice. Love cannot just overwhelm you and overpower you and possess you if you don't want it to. You have to allow love to dominate you. If you don't allow, it won't. It's such a handicap, you know. Even God needs our permission to enter us. Uh, and more often than not, the permission doesn't come. Love won't just happen. You have to permit it. 
in the choice between convenience and love the right choice won't just happen you have to make it and the temptation to go with convenience is always there so carla the questioner has to tell me how important it is to go with love i turn the question upon you carla if the material annoys you now then tell me are you ready to love because that's what is non material and obviously i could throw in a few more words and complete the mix hmm? the usual culprits freedom joy simplicity liberation <laughs> they are not material are they ever seen a cube of truth a cube of truth dissolving in a cup of love we haven't seen that ever have we hmm colors of joy do we use those phrases stupid phrases but we use them ah it's a rainbow of joy but the fact is joy cannot be seen behind your seeing can be joy but in nothing material in nothing seeable lies joy when you are joyful then the world is a wonderful place but if you are not joyful just seeing something won't give you joy it may give you relief it may give you temporary happiness but not the real thing not joy hmm material attracts because the ego can measure the material and only the material can be measured in material lies a lot of security because material can be stored and possessed you can write your name on the material and you can claim it nobody else can touch it you can deposit in in a bank locker and it's all yours till your death you can even leave it behind for your kids such is the quality of material so there are a lot of advantages related to material are there not if it is perishable you can salt it and store it in a container to use next season you can pickle it love would you want to salt it and pickle it you do want that most of us keep trying that don't we look at married couples their love has been salted and pickled and they want to use it season after season the mango is long since dead but the pickle is surviving obviously with no juice with love storage is not possible with material storage is easy love is the fresh mango direct from the branch hmm and then there are relationships old pickles so oily they spoil the body but nevertheless they are very spicy no you choose what do you want spices with oils and preservatives and that shrunken piece of mango skin or the luscious mango what is it that you want 
you look at my incapacity karva even to give you an example of love i have to use something material that's how tempted the mind is towards the material even to tell you of love i have to take the example of the ripe mango and a luscious one so now you see why the mind goes towards the material the ego finds so much comfort there right this so far is mine <clears throat> with truth you cannot do that <laughs> ever heard something called personal truth truth is not even universal how can it be personal but the sofa can very well be personal hmm and you can modify the sofa if it doesn't work properly you can get it cut into something more convenient to you the saree can turn into a skirt there are designers that specialize at it bring us old sarees and we'll give you designer dresses from that with love you cannot do that yes with the lover saree you can do that so there are many for whom love is just a great saree then they don't need love in lieu of love you can give them a great sari and they are happy often when they need sari they do not say they need a sari they say janu you do not love me and janu understands she needs a sari she won't directly say get me a sari all that she needs to say is love Similarly Janu does not need to say that he needs sex all that Janu has to say is i want to love you and she understands what he wants if he says i want to love you he means undress love is difficult karla very difficult it requires guts something burning within to want it and if you don't have that fire those guts then you can have ample material most of us are not seekers of love we are chasers of lovers there is a great difference between that wanting love and wanting a lover please meditate on that there is a great difference between wanting love and wanting a lover If you have a lover it doesn't matter to you whether you have love or not such is your obsession with lovers because lovers are material and love is not <laughs>